told Kodak, shoot that bitch, we finna blow up. For real, for real. Put your bands up, man. Go get your dough up, man. It's Kodak Blow Up, man. Gang gang, shout out Kodak Blow Up. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Kodak Blow Up, he's a nigga, man. Fuck Kodak Blow Up, nigga. You fuck Kodak Blow Up. What's good with Astamon? Yo, what's good, y'all boys? What's good, Kodak? Man, third time oh, around. Only it can send me, bruh. A nigga gonna say Kodak, and you gotta say which one, you feel me? Because we got Kodak Black, we got Kodak Blood. For yeah, sure, so, for sure. So. Man, how everything going with you, bro? Everything is lovely, bro. Everything, everything is exactly like what I wanted, where I wanted to be. For sure, man. I seen definitely, man. You've been doing a lot, man, from the, the mini films to, you know, you just had dropped the EP, Florida Water, man. Mm -hmm. Had to drop in November, man. Yes, You've been sir. doing yes, a lot sir. of stuff, man. But we're going to get in, in tune about the short film in a second. But let's mm -hmm. talk a little bit, you know, get right into it, man, with the Florida Water, man. Like, I always want to know how the whole creative, creative process of that began because I seen that as well. Like, you dropped Bandemic not that long ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was a creative ass video. Mm -hmm. But. It, including the whole EP itself, it was it was all over. So, you know, I want the people to understand like your process of how did that come together? Like the Florida Water itself from the name to how you put all the tracks together. Yeah, Florida Water, like I've been wanting, I've been wanting to make a tape called Florida Water for almost two years now, you feel me? <coughs> so, I had a cover already, but then I went and did another cover with someone else. But the creative process for that is, man, I just had so much music, so much music I've been working on. I'm like, damn, bro, I need a project. I need another one, bro. I did Where You At, Kid, and I just feel me just drop bullshit singles. Not bullshit singles, but I was just dropping a little, like, single here, single there, you feel me? I need to put some shit together. So I just started piecing it, piecing it, piecing it, you feel me? Florida water. Around this time last year is when I decided I was going to do the project, and I already knew when I was going to drop the project. I knew I was going to drop it 11-21, which is my grandfather's birthday. So I just spent that year kind of like getting into the groove, you feel me, trying to figure out, okay, this is how I'm going to do it. And like throughout that year, I started to find the sounds that I've been trying to find, you feel me, like, you, if you hear it, there's no two songs that are the same for it. Now for sure. You feel me, like, I got the preface, the, the intro, you feel me, and, uh, and out of time, they kind of intertwine because they kind of like the same kind of beat. I got um, Whip Me Up. Produced by Devontae, Wake Up, you know Devontae, right? For sure. Produced by him and Zen, you feel me? That's some like real good, like, I could say like, that young nigga shit, like them shit, like them just be listening to like 2019, you yeah, feel for me? Sure. Yeah, that, that, like that, that real good, what can I say, like, so Fago, like real good, like, I guess they call it hyper pop, you feel me? Some shit like that. And then I switched from that to, Two for one, you feel me? That's a sample, you feel me? That's that um, Lil Wayne throwing in the bag, Fabulous throwing the bag sample. The the sonic difference between those, like, boom, okay, this is a whole nother vibe. And then in that song, you feel me, the beat switches and it gets real dark, you feel me? So I use that to say, okay, fuck it. Number four, the fourth track, they would in front of me, my little brother made that. It got that same dark vibe, you feel me? And I tied those in. And then I had another song after that, which is another dark vibe, 26, like, I tied that in. Then I had some Gucci sounding shit that's dark, but it's still kind of melodic. Yeah. It's still kind of smooth. So I put that at number six. And then I did that free R. Kelly shit. Um, with the rapping like on a on a '90s R. Kelly type beat. You feel me? Cause it has that. It has the softness that number six Zuwak had. You feel me? It had the softness that was underneath that that shit had. And I went from that to Bandemic. So like you kind of see like if you listen to it you can see like art right, is up it's like kind of down then it goes up and it kind of goes down like in terms of like like sadness like the vibe, like, the vibe the the music, music, yeah. like sadness like darkness and then it comes back up you feel me and then it just fades out so then from pandemic I did Magic Jack and Magic Jack I did out of time you feel me out of time and it kind of like sounds everything together so it's just like a have you ever played that Lilo and Stitch shit like. And like you then one of the experiments you like kind of like going around like all the shit's falling down like sandwich condiments like yeah, they're falling you down you put it me? together you gotta put it together you feel okay, me okay yeah like, that's I'm how you to, basically have to put the album like, together, put together okay right like, like, like that process like bro like i went through a lot of shit 2021 bro 2020 2021 like bro i could i could rap about 2020 to 2021 
I could rap about that shit for three albums, four, five albums, bro. Like as much as, as, much as shit as I in, I seen, bro. Like seen and had to go through. Like I could rap about that shit for like four, or five albums. You feel me? Like so, I just try to incorporate a lot of that into Florida water. Like I had my L's. You feel me? I had my dubs. You feel me? I had to take a lot to the chin. You feel me? Like I had a daughter, bro. Like Dying my daughter process. was my daughter was almost born in the studio. You feel me? That's like. That lets you know like how much like this music shit really do mean to a nigga, how much I put into it, bro. My daughter like almost born in the studio, like Nell's bottle broke. Her water broke in the studio. We had to leave the studio, go to Celebration Hospital type shit, you feel me? That shows how much time you really be putting into that studio like you just said, man. Cause bro. when you when you got something, you know, like in for our previous uh, interviews, you know, I always say, you know, when you got something, you try to do it hundred percent the best that you can, you know. And I noticed that about this project, you know, where you promoted it. I was like, I listened to it, I could tell it wasn't, you know, something that you just put it together and like one day like, okay, everything gonna be put this way. Mm -hmm. It looked like you chopped it up the way you wanted to and when you had put it together, it was like, all right, now it's ready. And mm -hmm. I, I really some of the music I didn't get like why you had in certain like places mm -hmm. but then like how'd you place it now like okay i had you know basically up tempo like you know it's not really like like a, a lower type of um you know sad type of vibe mm -hmm. as i look think about it now it did go like that from that but i was thinking like damn how did you even come up with the the sense of like making certain type of uh, music because you know the sound of you on your, some of your tracks are sounding way different i was thinking mm -hmm. like was that something that he already had in the stash or is it something that he was already like all right i want my my uh dp to sound like you were just saying i wanted to sound like this i want to sound like this through the middle of it i want to sound a different sound you know what i'm saying was that all like the same time you putting everything together or was it little by little like okay i might sound like this for the mm -hmm. next track or did you already have that um idea in other words mm -hmm. not really but it's just me getting out of my comfort zone like me real deal fine crafting yeah my sound like like because i ain't gonna lie when i first started out like a lot of people used to say i sound like this person or that person you feel me so i tried i really tried to break out of that like bro like when you you hear esteban on the sound on the song that's esteban you feel me For sure. so like that was just me going through like my sound like trying to say okay you feel me like oh i can slide on this beat i can slide on this beat that's just how it happened, but like, I didn't make the songs with that intent. It just, when I came, when it came to like chopping it down, bro, I wanted this shit sound like a masterpiece. Like, one album I listened to while I was in the, I was making that, while I was putting everything together, like fine tuning, was Tyler the Creator shit. That Call Me If You Get Lost, bro, he deserved to win every single award he won for that, because that shit right there, bro, that was a fucking masterpiece, bro. Like that one, his newest EP. His newest shit, the shit where he had like he, but he had Fotu Doug on that shit. Like he had Young Boy on that shit. Okay, yeah. He I brought knew Wayne back sure. out. He yep. had Brent Fiaz. He had Domo Genesis, bro. Like he, bro, he got in his bag for that. And that, that thing was all self-produced. And if you listen to it, bro, it has that same kind of oh shit. Like this album, I didn't, I didn't have the. I'm not gonna say I didn't have the funds. Nigga, I'm straight up, I ain't had a bread to be like, fuck it, I'm gonna do post-production, I'm gonna have it. So like, this song has like a skit that leads into this shit, you feel me? So like, it sounds like one long ass song, you feel me? That's yeah. what I wanted to track the track, the EP to sound like, one long ass song. You just can't, you don't want to switch. Wait, Uzi did that in his album. Yeah. He did like the post-production, like in between the songs, he had yeah. like, basically like you were saying, like, like skits in other words, you know, in between the songs, as they led on to yeah. the next song, he was, he was talking about that. Yeah, skits, yeah, different yeah. like, transitional like chord changes like who did that Weezy, I think Lil Wayne was one of the first in like dedications. He would have, and not really in the sense of like him talking with like mm -hmm. people like in, in movie wise, mm -hmm. but he would do like I said skits in between his his track that would lead on to the next. Yeah, track. that's the first person I heard basically. Like, to do I ain't gonna lie, them boys been doing niggas been doing that shit for a little minute. For a minute, but the person who really like drilled that into my head was Roddy Rich on Please Forgive Me for Being um, Antisocial. Yeah, like that nigga. He said straight up like, bro, I put fifteen hundred dollars into that, like fifteen hundred extra dollars for post. Production. Like, if you listen to all the songs, it has like this, like a kind of like film score strings playing, and it leads to the next song. You feel me? Like, yeah. like, like that's what I wanted to do without having to do that. You feel me? Yeah. So like, for a minute, like I had them in a file. Like I had the folder, Florida Water. You feel me? I had them. All right. Well, I know this is the first song. This is the next song. You feel me? This is this is the last song. How can I put it to the point like? How can I get this route? Taking like 
a beautiful like ride like a road trip you feel me like i know i'm here and i want to get here how can i take a beautiful road trip so i can see all the sights let me stop by eat here stop see this see this before i get to where i need to get because i have to get here you feel me the, the, i gotta get from point a to point b I just, you gotta end bro like, how can i do it but while i'm doing it like you want to be like oh damn bro like this nigga this nigga thinking of some shit like people who real deal understand music you feel me and who understand it from a expression standpoint, not just a consumer, not just a turn up, you feel me? They would they really do appreciate that shit. Yeah. They would really do appreciate that. Not for that. sure, man. Especially oh like like music has like you say for real, you know, like they they you know, don't get me wrong, the turn up music is cool and all, but you know, I do like to bump my music that has the creativity towards it, you know, so they, a lot of music nowadays I'm not saying a lot of it don't have a lot of creativity, but you know, as the years went by, you could tell the difference with a lot of music from you know, like 90s, early 2000s to now. Mm -hmm. People just put stuff together and everything. But that type of stuff, like you said, people that you know actually have the ear to hear music, they appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely something that 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 would make an album stick out more than like a lot of albums or EPs that's you know coming out and everything. But I, um, I wanted to actually, you know what I'm saying? We I just seen you have dropped pandemic. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? By the way, everybody go check that out as well. You know, it's on his YouTube. Too. Yes, sir. I was gonna ask you now. Out of all the songs that you did on the EP, what made you want to go with that one to drop a visual to it? And and as in as as, as you dropping the song, I seen you had did it a certain type of way, like you know you being the president. Mm -hmm. What made you want to do it in that way? Like who brought the storyline together? Let's speak about the whole process right. of that. Side note: There's plenty more videos off of that tape. You feel me? I'm gonna stretch that tape, bro. But I'm gonna drop like three, four more tapes. I'm gonna still like drop videos for that yeah. tape. You feel me? But that, go that, one. that one, like when I first made the song, I was like, oh, this shit hard. You feel me? It wasn't until I sent it to my little brother and he was like, yo, like this shit real good, like make you pop your head. You feel me? This shit hard. I sent it to the producer, like, yeah, this shit hard. And I was like, alright. Then I was vibing. I, was, I don't know what I was doing, but I kept thinking it's a band, damn it. It's a band that sound like a sound like niggas marching. It sound like a chant, you feel me? Okay. So I'm like, oh shit. That's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the video. I'm the president. We finna march through downtown Kissimmee. We finna march through. The, I, was, I was gonna do downtown Orlando, but nah, too many people, you feel me? Like, that COVID shit's still kinda real, you feel me? So I said, fuck it, we just gonna do downtown Kissimmee. And I'm just get a suit. I already got a suit. I'm gonna get a Make America Beast again hat. And we just finna rock out like that. Like I seen the video, I'm just like, yo, that's that's creative as hell. You know what I'm saying? You know, especially in this time of what is going on right now, with all the extra stuff with the presidents and everything, and you know, we got gas prices going up and everything. It, it, it made me feel like, basically, like I'm in the real world watching your video. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? It's like, wow, you know, somebody could basically take a picture of what's going on in this real world and make a video out of it. You know what I'm saying? You, know, you had got the people to be in it. You know what I'm saying? You had the size, like real life. You know what happened when people was voting? You know what I'm saying? People be outside. You know, I was just like, wow, that's mad. Did, did, did you come up with that by yourself or was that something that you know the team come up with or you know what I'm saying I thought of it but the team kind of like you know like if I think of something like boom I gotta go to like alright yo I'm gonna hit up TK I'm gonna, hit up, I'm gonna talk to my dom I'm gonna hit up my brother I'm gonna hit up somebody like yo like this is what I'm thinking about bro like what do we do what's it oh bro I ain't gonna lie you should do it I'm not going confirmation fuck I'm gonna do it you feel me I thought of it, but like the team helped put that shit like real deal. Yeah. Like, bro, like niggas popped out. You feel me? I think that's T K right there. It's T K or Dre, but niggas popped out and real deal made that shit. Like, they made that shit like happen, bro. Like, I didn't think I was gonna have that many people, bro. It was supposed to be way more people. You feel me? But niggas, niggas be. Uh, I was gonna like tag you, like yo, like pop out, woo woo woo, and have niggas like see that shit inside. Bro. And at the end of the day, the video still came out, you know, good. And the creative, like, background of it, it is unmatched. That shit came out. Fearless visuals, bro. Yeah, like, for sure. Fearless visuals. Fearless visuals, bro. Like, bro. That visual was crazy, man. That nigga, bro, Madrid, Dante, uh, Brian, that team, bro. Them boys did. Them boys put that shit in life, bro. Like, I had the, the idea, bro. But we went, bro. We, we shot for, like, three, four hours, bro. We had we had so much footage, bro. Like, dude, we ended up in a barbershop. <laughs> nigga was vibing. You feel me? My dog got a haircut in the middle of the video. You feel me? Like, bro, bro like that took shit, man. Like, bro, like that shit was just so organic, bro. And it came out perfect. Like, 
I didn't even have to like, yo, bro, like change the scene, do this, do that. Nah, bro, like that shit came out perfect, bro. I was, I was in awe, bro. Like, the other videos, bro. Yeah, it's, it's trust. gonna be on some next shit. Yeah, trust, and bro. that's that's how you gotta do it. Every time you drop a video, you're looking at it like, hey, man, the video I dropped was fire. Next one gotta be. 10 times even, you know, harder than the last one that I dropped and everything, because that right there, you know what I'm saying, that shows you, you know, you have the creative, pro you have the creative process of making videos like good, you know, you have the, you have the baby be making all his videos, he be having, baby, he be having a storyline through all his videos, yeah, bro, you know yeah. what I'm saying, that makes the video 10 yeah, times more interesting. I'm a 90s baby, bro, like, real shit, bro, I used to watch MTV, I used to watch the Box BET, bro, I'm looking at Missy Elliott, you feel me? Crazy ass, I'm looking at Ludacris. Ludacris. Yeah, for sure. Bro, that nigga had, what was it, stand up? Had that big ass Air Force stomping that yeah, shit, bro. Yeah. Like, bro, he had fucking, nigga, them big ass fucking Hulk arms, bro, for that one video of uh, Get Back, bro. Busta Rhymes, bro. He literally, he really turned into liquid, you feel me, with Janet Jackson on some yeah, shit, bro. A, that's, like, that's legendary. You feel me? Like, I grew up watching that type of shit where yeah. niggas back then had million dollar video budgets. Yeah. Like, Cause shit, shit just so microwave now. You feel me? So niggas just grab, get a B and B. You feel me? Say fuck it, we in the bit. You feel me? And niggas get they scraps. Niggas invite some hoes. You feel me? That's cool too. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a quick visual. Like post that shit on YouTube like this. You feel me? Like get your get your plays, bro. Work on the next. You feel me? But I can't do that, bro. I need my shit to like. If I do some video like quick shit like that, it's gonna be because I was vlogging. You feel me? Like, boom, I got niggas with me. We shoot a scene here, boom. A whole lot of B-roll, you feel me? Shoot a scene here, shoot a scene there, but Nah, bro, like, I can't just do that shit. Like, in the videos that I do have like that, I don't even like them just like that. Like, yeah, you could do a, a calm, simple video and then have effects do all the work. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, nigga just slap like a thousand effects on that shit. It, it kills the uh, the uh, the originality of the you video sometimes. Right. I, 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 I be thinking that same thing, you know, don't get me wrong. I like the effects and videos, but it's more of like the storylines where the video can really take you. You know what I mean? Like, I got, like you just said, you know, I grew up in the early 2000s, to mid 2000s watching videos that had meaning. So nowadays, you know, the effects be cool as hell to me, but I always like to watch a video that has a storyline, especially when the, the song mm -hmm. can match the video. And that's how I was talking about your song. I, it, it matched the video. And I was like, wow, it's crazy how you even came up with that. You know what I'm saying? To even think about being a president, you know what I mean? At the time that we're going through, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it was just like that. That brought me back to like, damn, you know, this is a video that I could look back 15, 20 years from now and be like, damn, that was a good video. You know what I'm But, you know, since we're speaking about films and everything as well, you know, you dropped a short film called Florida Water. Mm -hmm. You know, and what was different about that as well you know i'm about to say it have no it was no muted sound, no i sound. thought my computer was fucked up for yeah, 10 yeah, 15 minutes yeah. <laughs> i'm looking at it like but then i realized it's like a silent film moment was like oh snap you know and my my uh as i was watching the video i seen that you know you speak you speaking some real stuff on it you know you were speaking about why basically your journey and why what you do you know you're trying to help people out you know especially your family and everything and um you you know you started showing that love to a lot of people you know basically show, giving your flowers to the people that deserve their flowers and everything like, what made you want to come with that that uh, that short film? Because that's not something a, a lot of people want to do. And secondly, you know, even having a silent, like, where, where did that all come from? I ain't gonna bullshit with you, bro. I got that idea from another artist. I seen him, I seen him do it, I'm like, oh. The silent film part yeah. and everything? I'm like, oh, this fucking nigga snap. Like, the whole concept, the whole, like, everything that you seen, like, you feel me, that was film? Yeah. All that shit, that's real, that's real organic shit. Oh, I was just sure. trying to, like, you feel me, oh, yeah, I gotta do it exactly like him, but. Nah, bro, like, I seen the silent film, I'm like, yo, he, that shit different, no one else did that. It's, um, Seti Hendrix, I don't know if you know, you ever heard of him? Nah, Seti Hendrix, he from Jacksonville. Okay, he's he, a, um, he a rapper? Yeah, or... he a rapper, he like... And another thing, when I, was, I was looking at it, I was seeing how it was silent, but it made me want to pay attention more. You have to read it. Exactly, you feel it me? made Not... me have to really digest what you were saying, you know what I'm saying? Instead of, like, somebody just talking in the video, of course you're gonna listen, mm -hmm. but then again, you got so much going on, that's his silence, like... What's he really saying? And you know, back to like the meaning towards it and everything. You know, you give me your flowers to you know your your family, you know your mm -hmm. grandma, your grandpa. You know, mm -hmm. he's talking stuff that it was value to you at a young age. What makes you value so much of like what you're doing right now? Because you know, a lot of people basically live life with like I'm not gonna say YOLO, but you know, people live like we young. We just getting it. You know, I can see when you the way you're directed towards what you're doing. You have a you want to leave like a a, a a milestone for people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like a legacy, in other words. What made your mind actually like think about that? You know, it's just rap music and everything that you're doing. Uh, 
it's, it's not even just rap music, bro. It's like from business, feel me, from everything. Like, bro, I want, I want to establish something to leave behind because my family didn't get a chance to do that for me. Yeah, my family didn't. Bro, my, I think my grandpa, I think he came over here damn near on a boat damn near, you feel me? Like, bro, like, my people left their country to come here because they felt like this is the land of opportunity. This is the, the golden ticket. So I'm supposed to let them see that I took they fucking hard work, they grinding. My grandma came here in 72, you feel me? My grandma came here when she was like, she was... A little bit younger than us, bro. You feel me? She was in her early twenties, probably nineteen, early twenties, bro. You feel me? She came here young, bro. You yeah. feel me? My grandpa too. I'm supposed to show them that all that bullshit they had to go through. They was in the thick of the riots in Miami, like those riots in Miami, bro. They had to go in through the riots, through the racism, through the language barrier, for them to have another set of kids who tried to do some shit. You feel me? My dad, he, he did his best, bro. My mom did her best, but they tried to do what they. What they what they were trying to do was to like leave some shit for us, bro, for me and my siblings, but they couldn't do it the way they wanted to do it. So I'm supposed to take all that and show them, like, bro, I don't give a fuck about what y'all try to do. I don't give a fuck about y'all saying this is the land of opportunity. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Like, I'm just gonna be a, a nigga who just live for today, live for himself. Nah, I can't do that, bro. Like, I'm I was not born to be mediocre. I was not born. To just live today, work a job. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. No, ma'am. Get my check, pay bills, and that's it. And to show my daughter that I have to get up and call another nigga boss and work for him and not have nothing for me. So she have to do that same thing and go find herself a nigga to do the same thing and just feel me. Continue yeah, the yeah. chain, yeah. bro. Like I'm. Trying to break that chain, but me and my siblings and all the niggas I'm surrounded with, we trying to break that chain because our parents tried, bro. They didn't know about no entrepreneurship. They didn't know that oh, if you do this, this could this this risk right here, taking this risk can can set up your family for generations and generations and generations. They didn't know that. They just know oh shit, we in America now. Shit, let's get to work. You feel me? Yeah. They didn't know that. And. Can't, you feel me? I just can't wrap that sh wrap my head around the fact that niggas just can't niggas won't reciprocate that type of you feel me that type of that energy. type of love and energy, bro. Like, like I don't know, bro. Like I can't even put that shit into words, bro. Like I I have to do it for them. You feel me? For sure. I got to, bro. Like niggas not niggas not gonna understand, bro. It's niggas. You feel me? Niggas never had to get dressed in the dark. You feel me? Niggas ain't never have. Okay, boom, water off. You feel me? Niggas ain't oh down. Shit, ain't no food today. All right, shit, we gonna make some shit shake. Niggas ain't never go to sleep. Go to sleep eating hunger. You feel me? Go to sleep eating air. You feel me? Imagine your your fucking meal, bro. You feel me? Niggas ain't never do nothing like that. Niggas ain't never went to school and not have what everyone else is having. You feel me? Niggas ain't go from an area where. Everyone is the same in terms of economic level to being an area where everyone is around you having shit. You ain't got shit. You got the bare necessities get you on, but like you, 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 the sneakers, the new nigga, like you, niggas ain't do that, bro. You feel me? Like I'm. This is why I do. I do so niggas who grew up like I grew up and grew up worse, or not even just that. Respect that. To see like there's a way out, you feel me? Sure. Do this shit for your peoples, bro. You do this shit for your peoples, bro. That shit's gonna come back to you tenfold, bro.